Hi there. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is Julie DiMatteo from thepaperpixie.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the U.S. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this Mercy gift card box. Inside it holds three Mercy chocolates plus a gift card. It's a really great project for the holidays, but also for birthdays and thank yous. So let me show you how easy this is to make. We're going to start with a piece of thick whisper white cardstock that measures three and three quarter inches by eight and three quarter inches. And we're going to score this along the three and three quarter inch side at three eighths, three quarters, three inches, and three and three eighths inches. I'm going to rotate it to the long side and we're going to score this at two and a half two and seven eighths, six and three eighths, and six and three quarters. Next, I'm gonna fold and burnish on all the score lines. All right, let me bring in a template here. You wanna pay attention, you've got one section here that's larger than the top section. This section up here is gonna be considered the top flap, and this is the bottom flap. So let's start with the bottom. I'm gonna come in from the right side, two vertical score lines from the right, and I'm gonna cut up to the second horizontal score line. Now, we wanna create these downward tabs here. So I'm gonna come in and turn this a quarter of a turn, and I'm gonna cut up the second vertical score line in from the left, but only up to that first score line. Then I'm gonna come into the first vertical score line from the left and cut up to the second horizontal score line. So we kind of have this weird kind of cut here. We're just gonna come in and notch to create this tab. And it's important that the tabs go up and down in this direction so that these tabs don't get in the way of the Mercy chocolate. So you just wanna make sure you're cutting your tab to point downwards. I'm gonna repeat the same thing on the other side, coming into the second vertical score line from the left cutting up to the second horizontal score line, quarter turn, cutting up the second one in to the first one up, and then first one in to the second one up. Then we're just gonna come in and notch and create this little tab that points downwards. Like so, so the bottom part is done. Now turning this to the top, we're just gonna come in, the second score line in from the right, cutting up to the second horizontal score line, and we're gonna remove these four sections in the corners. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Again, going up to that second horizontal, turning it, coming into the second vertical, and removing those four sections in the corner. Same thing on the opposite side. like so. All right, now I'm bringing in the detailed trio punch. Again, paying attention to where our top is. We're gonna round these top two corners. Then I'm also gonna fold on the second score line so we have this flat edge here, and I'm gonna round these two corners, so the corners opposite where the tabs are. That's just gonna give this box a really nice finish. So now, our base looks like the template. Okay, I've got three pieces of the wrapped in plaid designer series paper. The largest measures two and one eighth by three and three eighths. The next largest measures two and one eighth by two and three eighths. And then the smallest, which is actually in landscape, measures two and one eighth by one and seven eighths. Now this piece, making sure you've got the two and one eighth side along the top, we're gonna round the top two corners. like so. Okay, so this largest piece we're gonna glue to the center panel. The one with the rounded corners is gonna go here, and then this middle size piece is gonna go down here. So I'm gonna glue those down with multi-purpose liquid glue. Okay, now next I'm gonna bring in some tear and tape, and I'm gonna place tear and tape right along those teeny tiny little tabs. Then I'm also gonna flip this over and down by the tabs, we're gonna run this right along the edge here. 
on both sides. I'll bring it closer to the camera in a second. So we've got tear and tape on each of these little tabs and then here right along the edge up to that vertical score line. So I'm going to start with the tabs. Let's go ahead and remove the backing off the tear and tape. If you have any tear and tape that's kind of hanging over the edge, just fold it back onto itself. And then we're going to line up this score line with this cut edge to form the bottom of our box. Like so. Now the next thing you want to do before we glue this together is this is a little tip. So go ahead and put in your gift card and your three Mercy chocolates. That's going to give you a little bit of leverage to get this glued down. So I'm just going to come in and take off the backing of the tear and tape here. And then we're just going to fold this up. I'm going to kind of take my time here, but we want to make sure that when we do adhere this, that we're lining up this edge here. See that? And having the chocolates in there gives us a little bit of leverage to press that piece down and be right into place. See that? So cute. I love that little rounded edge there. It gives it a nice finish. Now we're going to add a little Velcro dot here. I found these on Amazon. They're called Thin Clear Fasteners. They're 5 eighths of an inch in diameter. You get 75 of them. And what I like to do is when I get the box, I just adhere both the hook and loop side together so that these are ready to go and I'll remove one. Now I like to take the loop side, so the whiter side, peel the backing off of that first and that's the side we're going to place on the front of the box here. I'm coming down about a quarter of an inch then you can peel the backing off the hook side and then I'm just going to close my box, make sure it's in the right position before I press down. And then we'll pick up that Velcro dot and just press it again into place. How cool is that? Now you could certainly use magnets here as well. Now let's go ahead and decorate the box. I'm going to use the shaded spruce and gold striped ribbon. I'm just going to kind of run this underneath here and close the box. This lid will give me a little bit of leverage and I'm going to go ahead and tie a bow. And then just a little trick to get that ribbon to stay in place, I'm going to grab a mini glue dot and just hide it underneath the knot. And then let's go ahead and do a little bit of stamping. We're going to use this cute stamp set, Itty Bitty Christmas and the sentiment Happy Christmas here, but this is full of so many great Christmas sentiments. I'm going to stamp the sentiment in shaded spruce onto Whisper White. Then using the smallest oval from the Layering Ovals Framelits, we're going to cut that sentiment out like so. Then I've already done this cutting ahead of time. This is the second smallest smooth oval. I cut that out of shaded spruce and the smallest scalloped oval I cut that out of cherry cobbler. So I'm going to go ahead and layer these three pieces together. We're going to pop that onto the front of our gift card box here. Then I'm going to grab a cherry cobbler rhinestone from the Holiday Rhinestone Basic Jewels. And we'll just put that off to the right. And voila, there's our Mercy gift card box. Perfect for the Christmas holidays, but can be easily changed for birthdays and thank yous. It's a great little gift card box. And who wouldn't want a gift card with a little bit of delicious chocolate? So thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my next video. If you're interested in purchasing any of the Stampin' Up! products I used today, they'll be linked in the description. And I'll also include a link to my detailed blog post with all project measurements, details, and a picture of the template. I'd love to have you come visit me at thepaperpixie.com where I post projects every weekday to inspire you. I have options to subscribe to both my monthly newsletter as well as my daily blog updates, and I'd love to welcome you as a new subscriber. You can shop with me anytime at thepaperpixie.com shop. And if you'd like a discount on your Stampin' Up! purchases, the starter kit is the ultimate bundle, and I'd love to welcome you to my team of Paper Pixies. You can purchase the starter kit at thepaperpixie.com join. If you don't already have a demonstrator and you'd like a complimentary copy of one of our catalogs, you can submit a catalog request at thepaperpixie.com catalogs. And if you give this project a try, I'd love to see what you made, so feel free to share it on social media with the hashtag PaperPixie, and I'll be sure to check it out.
Thanks again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. Take care. Bye.